Hey, this is Kevin from kevinsguides.com, and just a couple days ago, Joomla 5.0 was released, so I'd like to talk about that for a minute. Let's take a look at some of the key changes with Joomla 5, see what's new. So I've already downloaded and extracted it, but let's take a look at the installer. Now, it looks largely the same, and in general, Joomla 5 will function pretty much identically to Joomla 4, um, with a few minor differences. The, the first thing you'll notice, of course, is dark mode, which is what we are seeing here. Since on my operating system, I chose dark mode. Joomla is in dark mode. Now I'm going to just go ahead and create a quick test account here. And Joomla is installing. So the installer looks a little different than before. Um, it looks like they use some more solid colors. Let's take a look here to, I mean, the page is identical, but if we go into the render settings under dev tools, we can see what this looks like if we prefer color scheme white. And that does actually look identical, I think, to the old version. So maybe it's just the the dark mode that's showing me some difference here. Anyways, let's go to the front end, and it looks like I forgot to manually delete my folder. It's such a common Windows problem, not sure why that happens. All right, installation folder deleted, and now I can go to my test site's front end, and we'll see what we are dealing with. So it does not look like the front end theme has any type of dark mode. It's still using the same Cassiopeia theme or template as Joomla 4. Nothing looks different there. Let me just log into the back end here. Let's verify that. So if we go into site template styles and we look at Cassiopeia under advanced settings here color theme standard or alternative. I think that was there before. Um, that was there before. So there is no dark mode, at least for now, for Cassiopeia. Let's also take a look at the administrator template styles. See if there's any settings in here we need to pay attention to. And it looks like there is no manual control in here to restrict the back end to use just dark mode or just light mode. So if some of your users prefer dark mode or light mode, um, they could be seeing either one depending on their operating system or browser preferences. And the only way to change that manually is to either change the setting at the browser level, the operating system level, or to use dev tools and emulate prefers color scheme, dark or light. So perhaps in the future, they will add some support to allow users to easily toggle between dark and light mode. Um, but for now, it does not seem like there is any type of options to manually switch that within Joomla itself. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm just taking a look at what Joomla says is new in Joomla 5. Looks like they made some general performance improvements to web assets and caching. That's not something most front end, well, I mean, you might notice it a tiny bit if your site's faster, but unless you're a developer, you're probably not gonna be paying much attention to that. Um, schema.org integration. So they've added automatic schema data to the uh, metadata, which is supposed to help with SEO. Um, if we look at the page source for this page here, it looks like we have these new JSON variables here that have some schema information, and it's got like the site name and some general metadata in there. I'm honestly not 100% up to date with what that is for, but I suppose it can't hurt. Code optimization, more speed improvements, PHP and bootstrap updates. So now Joomla requires PHP 8 or above, which is a good thing for security reasons and feature reasons. So now we're all on the new thing. They've updated bootstrap to 5.3, which bootstrap 5.3 is what 
introduced dark mode um, in general, I believe, to Bootstrap. So now that Bootstrap has it, I guess that's why they decided to go ahead and extend that down to Joomla itself as far as the backend template user interface to more some dark mode stuff. Um, it looks like Tiny MCE got an update. So if we go in and look at an article editor with Tiny MCE, you'll notice it's virtually the same as before. It's just now it's got this kind of a shadow. It looks um looks a little different, but other than that shadow going under the toolbar, it's largely the same. I believe the new version includes a feature for. I think it said something about image alignment. So if we go and insert a test image like this, um, what do we have here? All right, so I'm not seeing what they mean by these image alignment features. I mean, it still has the paragraph center, left, right justifications. But as far as image alignment itself, um, I, I do not know what they are talking about there. Menu sorting allows you to sort the menu in the way you want it. Let's see, what does that mean? All right, so I looked through pretty much every setting regarding menus, and it does not look like there is any additional functionality for the menus or the menu manager. Um, you can still, you know, sort menus just like uh, you could before, but there's no, like, automatic sorting or anything else, any additional filter settings or batch settings that I could find. So I do not know what they are talking about there either. Um, it says there's been some enhanced security. That is good. All right, so this is good. They did update Joomla 5 with the newer version of Font Awesome and Code Mirror 6. So if you take a look at the icons in Joomla 5, they will look slightly different than they did in Joomla 4 just because the version of Font Awesome has been updated. Um, it's very subtle, but if you like the new version of Font Awesome, I guess that's there. And I'm assuming Font Awesome also, actually, they probably also added additional new free icons to the latest version. So that's definitely a good thing. As far as the code mirror thing goes, so code mirror, if you're not familiar with it, that is an alternative to tiny MCE if you don't like to use the visual editor and you actually prefer to just edit in regular HTML, code mirrors for you. I actually use this pretty frequently myself, but I don't know the exact differences with the latest version of code mirror. Um, I can say off the bat that look, it looks like Code Mirror does not support dark mode. And this is definitely something we're going to have to take a look at because you can't, you can hardly see that, that text that I'm typing there. So, um, so it's actually done in inverse. Code Mirror, I think by default, it uses a darker layout. And now it's, um, yeah, that's not good. Oh, look, this schema tab is new. So that must have to do with the new schema.org plugin that they were talking about. Um, so let's just go ahead and save that. What happens here? Schema type. Okay, so we can say what type of um, what type of object or article this is uh, using the schemas. So if we like got a book, we can go ahead and add more information on it. And yes, all this extra metadata should help with SEO, I would assume. So that is new. So I'm glad we found something new here. But yes, back to Code Mirror, it does not look like there are any noticeable differences, at least that I can see here. P slash P test, we can still do this. We could do that in the old version. Div, it doesn't have like class equals hello slash div. Okay, that's all the same as it was before, other than it not looking quite as good. Now let's see if Code Mirror has a dark mode. All right, it looks like there's no difference with Code Mirror as far as the updated version goes. Final thing it just mentions is that they cleaned up 
the code base, they are transitioning away from some older APIs. If you're a Joomla developer, they removed ES5 support and a few other things that should help make everything run a bit more smoothly. Of course, this means that newer extensions will have to support the new APIs and classes and functions that, that exist. So I'll, I'll report back on that once I find out a bit more about what was removed. But for the general user, that pretty much sums it up. So Joomla 5 is basically Joomla 4, but without support for older versions of PHP and MySQL, and a few just kind of general updates to the underlying software that it uses. But Joomla 5 is not some type of major feature change release or anything like that. The biggest thing is the dark mode, which I would argue is not... Uh, of huge importance. So I am grateful to the Joomla team for continuing to work on Joomla and putting this out, even if it might not be as big of a feature update as I would like. Um, hope they keep up the good work. And if there's anything that you noticed that I missed or got incorrect in this video, just leave a comment and I would love to hear from you. Thanks and take care.